Good morning, friends. Today we are going to be doing activity number three, which is making our shape flower. So in your bag, you should all have a white paper that has a flower stem drawn on there and a bag of shapes to make our flower petals. So first, let's see what shapes do we have. Let's see. What is this shape? This shape has three sides. Do my friends remember? That's a triangle. It goes up, down, across. Three sides, up, down, across. What about this shape? This shape has four sides. Up, over, down, across. Four equal sides. That is a square. A rectangle just has four sides. A square has four equal sides. Then I have a circle that is round and closed. Then I have this pink shape. What is this shape, friends? Can my friends know? That's a heart, yeah. So I have a total of one, two, three, four different shapes. So I only have one flower stem on my paper, but I can make more than one flower. That's okay. Remember, we need our glue. We don't want it to get lost. So we clip, clip it together on the bottom. All right, I'm going to start my flower with, hmm, I think I'll use the square first. So I'm gonna put my flower on here and then I'm gonna show you after. All right, so I have my square. Maybe I wanna use a triangle. Do you know what kind of shape flowers you're going to make yet? You don't know. I have an idea. What kind of flowers have you seen before? Have you looked at flowers that have different kind of shapes? All right, so I have one flower done. I'm gonna show my friends my flower first before I make another one. So this is just my flower with my shapes. I have the square in the center and the triangles as my petals. Now I know, like I said, there's just one stem drawn on there but you know what miss janet has markers so i'm going to draw another stem because i want to make another flower i have lots of shapes left over so i want to make sure i use all my shapes i'm going to draw another stem over here and maybe even another stem here all right See, let me show you real fast that I just added on a couple extra stems. No biggie. All right, now I'm going to use some more of my shapes. I wanna make sure I use at least one of each of my shapes. So let's see what other flowers I can make using my shapes. Hmm. And you can make more flowers if you want too. Let's see. That one got stuck to my finger. That one was silly. All right. Miss Chan's gonna have to wash her hands after this and getting glue all over my fingers. But that's okay, right? Yeah, that's okay, Miss Janet. All right, I have one more heart to put on here. Let me show you my heart flower with a circle center. There we go. And I'm going to do one more flower, too. Hmm, what do you think, friends? Should I use the circle in the middle? Or should I use the square in the middle? It's a tough one. Hmm, I think I'm going to use the circle in the middle again. All right, and this time, I'm going to put my squares around it. friends I am all done I made three different flowers are you ready to see Ta -da! so I have this flower that I made first with a square center and triangle petals then I made this flower with a circle center and heart petals and this flower you didn't really see my circle center but then I used square petals Ta -da! all right friends don't forget to send me pictures of your flowers